Hey everyone, it's Eric Wen, and today I wanted to give some sort of unscripted, off-the-cuff thoughts on a song I heard today on the radio by John Mayer and on the friend zone. In actually 24 hours or so, I'm gonna be part of one of my best friend's weddings uh, as one of the groomsmen, which is super exciting. And so naturally, this week I've been thinking a hair more than usual about relationshipy stuff. And I was just driving earlier today and I heard this song, New Light, on the radio, and I just start laughing. So basically, if you haven't heard it, uh, it's about John Mayer singing about being in the friend zone, which is one, funny because he's 40 years old, and two, uh, because he's notoriously a playboy. Uh, <laughs> I can't even tell. It, it doesn't even seem like he's taking it very seriously. Anyways, but basically, he's singing about how he has this friend that's a girl, and if he had the opportunity to just, like, have one night to show his true colors, she would suddenly, her eyes would be like, bah! and she would see him in a new light and fall in love with him, and it'd be all perfect, but he's just like, oh, I wish I had that opportunity so that I could get to know you in a new light, and I could be seen in a new light. Uh, yeah. The reason this song's particularly funny to me is because if I had heard this song in high school, I would have loved it. And I would have been like, oh, this is so me. This is exactly how I'm feeling. I definitely had several friendships in high school where I would have these really close friendships with girls and they would love hanging out with me, connecting, all this stuff, uh, but just as friends. And every once in a while I would get frustrated because I was like, wait, why am I not popping on the radar like at all? Why, why can't they see me in the way that I'm seeing them? What? And so I would talk sort of about the friend zone a lot. And actually now, I, the friend zone that I believed so hard in before, I don't actually think the friend zone exists at all anymore. I think people just have their own preferences and whatever, and sometimes they don't like you like that, and that's okay. And sometimes they still want to be your friend because they care about you, and you just need to communicate a little bit so it's not as confusing and frustrating, or you can set up boundaries or what, you know, whatever. In the same way that you cannot be faulted for being attracted to them, right, that's not your fault, uh, they should not be faulted because they are not attracted to you, even though you think maybe that they should be. Anyways, I think most of you guys are smarter than me or older than me, and so you, you guys already have this all figured out, so I'm not gonna belabor it. But a related idea that might be more relevant to you is this idea I heard from uh, Charisma on Command. I just found him this past week, and his stuff is all about like mindset stuff or actionable stuff to communicate more effectively or present yourself better, and so obviously I, it's sort of my jam. In one of his videos, he talks about the power of consuming less content that like reinforces this feeling that you're lacking something, that you're missing out. For instance, if you're thinking about loneliness and relationships or connection a lot, like consume maybe less music and content that says like, hey, you can only be happy if you find that relationship or you need someone else to not feel alone. And the same idea could be applied to money or productivity or inspiration, you know? Like sometimes when I'm in a creative funk or feeling less productive, I have to take some space from, you know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, because the, all that content sort of highlights to me this feeling of I'm not measuring up or these people are productive or inspired in ways that I'm not currently feeling right now. So I take some space from it so that I can just move forward and be like, mm, this happens sometimes without that lacking feeling clicking in the back of my head. So tying it back to the beginning, if I had heard that John Mayer song in high school, it would have been highlighted like, oh, I'm missing that magical scenario where they're gonna fall in love with me, or oh, they're not liking me even though I feel like they should like me, instead of a different message which could have been like, hey, you have a really awesome special friendship even if they don't like you, or hey, they don't like you, that's okay, you're still awesome. Uh, they need more songs like that. <laughs> Thanks for listening guys. I'm Eric Wen, young adult, pumped, passionate about sharing stories and ideas to encourage and hopefully give you an opportunity to think more deeply. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing more of that content, hit that subscribe button or not, that's totally fine. Uh, and I've got a podcast out every Tuesday. Um, thanks guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs> what? <laughs>